Hey guys, I'm John P. And I'm Callie Lewis. Guess what? 3D Robotics has drones even John P. can't Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Geek Beat Live, even though it's kind of recorded. I am shocked, John. What? I, I can't believe you could even utter those welcome words because you should be so darn excited you cannot think about anything else. I've been practicing my zen-like breathing and stuff so that I can avoid focusing on the toys that are right beside me. OMG, we have amazing stuff here, yeah. right here at the Geek House. We've got and Scott with it's us. New. He's from 3D Robotics, and his official title is what Cinema is Pilot. Cinema Pilot. Although yesterday his his unofficial title or his secondary title was, uh, what was it again? Safety pilot. Safety oh. pilot. <laughs> Try to make sure John was doing well over there. Okay, that's good. right. So it's that's pretty cool good. because actually, this uh, and I'm sure we're gonna we're about to really get into this, yeah. but I just have to just jump to some of the good stuff. You can actually control this drone with a tablet. I know. But how cool is that? What's even more important is. If somebody like me is controlling with a tablet, a real professional could have a controller standing uh, by. You know how ooh, when you're learning how I was to wondering drive, what that was. you have yeah. uh, the, the instructor has the the pedal, o, the override the pedal, o the you crap can't pedal, say the that old crap pedal <laughs> that they can stop. Well, that's that's, that's the old awesome. crap pedal right there. Exactly. We're, okay, we're gonna get to that. But first and foremost, this particular drone, this quadcopter, is the Iris Plus, which is like brand spanking new, right? Yes, absolutely. Just a, a revamp of the Iris. So we've got a more efficient powertrain, spin-on props, so it's really easy to take off and off. Oh, can I? Yeah, absolutely. So there's a little lock button or a little lock thing right uh -huh. here, and it shows you which direction to take oh, it off and which direction to put it on. Nice. And you can just spin oh, it. Yeah. Oh, okay, awesome. That way, when the motors right, are won't spinning, totally take it it's off, actually but... tightening the prop as you fly. Oh, nice. nice. Very useful. Okay, and why why is this side blue and this side black? That's so you can tell which one's the front. I knew that. I was. Oh, oh, oh you're just. Oh, you're excited that you knew it. You spent all day with him. I did. We were hanging out all Lots day. Lots of fun. <laughs> Lots of fun. Yeah, yeah. On the drone. There's a man on crush the on, the on the drone. drone. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so uh, everybody knows I have uh, I, my exploits with my uh, DJI Phantom are well known. So I bought one of the very, I mean, when they came out, I was like, holy crap, this is awesome. And I bought one. And I, I got to admit, I like it. It's a good little drone. And in fact, like for you, it'd probably be a great drone because you're really good at good flying at it, these yeah. things. And I'm only okay at flying it. And so for me, it was a little difficult. And what I decided I was going to do was I was going to mount a gimbal on it. So I ordered a third party gimbal and I had it and I followed the instructions completely. <laughs> I mean, really, I honestly yeah. did. I did it perfectly. But there was something wrong with that thing. And when I plugged it in, it killed my quadcopter. Fried the whole system. And so we sent it off to DJI and it took a long time to come back. And that, my and friends, is how John P. got to be known as Mr. The fix fix it. it. Yeah, I fixed the quadcopter and I swear to God I didn't break it. But anyway. <laughs> but uh, this broke, actually comes with a gimbal. Yes, absolutely. It comes with the gimbal and it's really simple to install. It's two plugs. Done. Wow. Well, the, the key part of my other oh, DJI yeah. story oh, okay. was even after I got it back, I have a hard time flying that thing. Yeah. Okay, it's a good it's a good machine. It just takes a little bit. But of it takes expertise. a lot of practice. Okay, now flash forward to this bad boy. <laughs> yep. Yesterday, we were out here in the parking lot, and you started. You pulled out that. You pulled out a tablet and started pulling up Google Maps and drawing pictures on it with your finger and then you hit a button and the freaking machine took, <laughs> took off, off by itself and started flying around and freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is crazy. The fact that it, you, okay, so describe exactly what you're doing and what that technology is called. So basically inside the Iris, uh, Iris Plus, there's a autopilot. 
and it has GPS and a bunch of sensors, IMUs, things like that, um, kind of a lot like what you have in tablets and phones. Um, but it uses all that data to figure out where it is in the world and basically flies itself. That allows us to have people like John here, <laughs> yeah. just basically you're just telling it where to go and the brain inside will figure out what it needs to do to get there. Okay, what happens if it loses the GPS signal? If it loses the GPS signal, there's multiple fail-safes we've put, in, put into place. Very simply, we can have it just slowly land itself. So it'll come down very slowly, land itself. Um, I think it, we're looking at some, I think we're gonna look at some footage here. Oh yeah. This is, this is, this is something we shot from the roof. Yep. We hear like a little quadcoptery motory thing in the background, I guess. <laughs> Oh, no, uh, we don't. You don't hear that. You don't hear that. We hear it in I our ears, it. but uh, that's... Uh, all right, so it's, it's Wait, really Wait, this is smooth. real footage. This is real footage. This was from yesterday? Yeah, why is it so smooth? It looks... That's, that's the gimbal actually here um, stabilizing the camera. Oh, wow. it's even doing it right now. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay. So, okay, so in that... In that you, you talk about smooth. Okay, here's, here's my, like, wow... Factor I thought you were going to say John P. You are a total wow factor, John P. Smooth. But beyond, but beyond that, yesterday when uh, we were out flying, uh, you had it up in the air and going at it. It was moving, 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 and all of a sudden, I'm like, I, I look at it, and I'm like, it's just standing still up there. Yeah. And I look at his Scott, and I'm like, wow. He is a really good pilot. Yeah, like yeah. that is That's fantastic. Amazing. I couldn't believe how. And he's like, how "Look, similar. no hands. That's how good I am. Yeah. No hands." Exactly. <laughs> he took off his hands off the controls because I thought he was just really good at keeping it still. And uh, that thing will just stay in the air and stand still mode. Exactly. Basically, it when it's flying with GPS, it will revert to a mode where uh, it won't do anything unless you tell it to. So as soon as you stop putting inputs, it's going to hold its position. It's going to hover right there, and it's going to wait for you to, to say where what to go What if it ran That's out crazy. of battery? Hang on. What if I just left? What if I just stood there and just watched it until it just ran out of battery? Is so it a drop another, out of the sky? Another failsafe we actually have is if the battery starts to get low, we'll actually it will come back and land itself where it took off. Okay. So if it starts to get low, it'll actually kind of beep at you, let you know, and then it'll come back and land itself, and you. On the way back, if it's doing that, you notice it's coming. There's a car that parked where you took yeah. off. Yeah. You can you still have a little bit of control that you can nudge it around so you don't land on people or property. So you you, you can do that with the controller, right? Yes. Uh, can you do that with the tablet too? Um, or you need the controller to nudge it around and stuff. For the return to launch, you need the controller to nudge it around. Okay. Um, you can always... But also, if you were doing this in a field, the odds... I mean, if it was off by a few feet, it's no big deal. Yeah, exactly. Generally, yeah. it's about a meter and a half variance. Um, that's the, the precision we get with GPS nowadays. Um, and so, if you have, have about that amount of space, you should be fine. Okay. Awesome. Now, there was one other thing that you did. Here's Geo up on the roof. Well, what are y'all doing actually, up on the roof? Actually, later... I couldn't find you people for a little while. We just wanted to go on the roof. Uh -huh. I don't know why we went on the roof. Do you? Because the drone can fly from anywhere. It was there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, why wouldn't we go on the roof? I think that's the important thing. So there's Geo. He was actually shooting with a GoPro 360 rig. So he was taking a 3D video of it. And by the way, we have that video to show off later. It's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, Excellent. definitely. So uh, you have another mode on this thing that is designed to seriously creep people out. <laughs> it's called stalker mode. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think it's called follow me. Oh, okay. Uh, I, thought <laughs> that was called, correct. I thought it was called stalker mode, but I guess, I guess we'll refer to it as follow me mode. Uh, so how does what, that work? I hold, I hold a device in my hand, Yeah, right? so basically any Android device, um, it has GPS in it. So we communicate with the Android device and pull that GPS location and then tell the drone to chase that around. And there's a couple different flight modes and different ways that it can follow you. It can be off to the right or the left, or it, it can revolve you as you're, uh, as you're walking. So those, those beautiful mode. Michael Bay shots, yes. those revolving I sun know. lens flares, all those good stuff. That's awesome. How many of these can we get flying at the same time? You can actually get quite a few, because uh, the frequencies um, being analog are, are tuned very precise. Mm -hmm. So you can have a few in the air at a time. Wait, so here's but, what I but, want. The, but they're not swarm. They're, no, they're not they're using not swarm. Okay. Well, here's what I want you to go back and work on, okay? <laughs> I want you to go make some swarm robots of these. <laughs> I need like four of these. 
I need to be able to pull up my app and I need to tell it at all times, no matter where I go, all four of them just swarm around me. Like if I go this direction, they're just four, go like that. And if I turn, they just keep just, just like an atom with its, you know, with electrons. electrons Every time like I that. talk about swarm robots, you don't like the idea. Yeah. But now all of a sudden, these are mine. You want these when the focus is on John. When it's, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> when it's, when as they, long as they don't all turn on you. <laughs> right. Me, as long as they don't okay. start shooting missiles at you. Yeah. Okay. Don't do anything unless you tell it to. Okay. okay. Yeah, cool. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, what else? What, yeah, what have we not asked you about? So, one of the really awesome things with the autonomy is, or with the autonomous and the, uh, the autopilot inside, is that we can tie back in here to 3D Palooza, is that it's very easy for us to put a sensor where you previously couldn't, whether that sensor is laser or a camera. Um, now we can get a sensor to a spot where you couldn't do it, and you can do it very cheaply, efficiently, efficiently and quickly. And you can do Look it at easy. Scott tying it back into our 3D I know, Palooza. That, that was, was brilliant. That was a good, that was that was really a good, good. segue. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah, that was excellent. You, uh, my job might be in jeopardy. But, <laughs> but, try. but you did, you flew this thing. The mm. reason you flew it all around the right, Geek, Geek House, House was because you were taking the photos with this that were sucked into the Autodesk yep. applications and they created 3D models out of yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. That's really the amazing thing for me is what Autodesk has done with, with Recap, Re uh, Recap 360. It's so easy to make these 3D models that previously you have $100,000 systems, you have $10,000 programs that are just incredibly difficult to operate and you need all sorts of licensing and all this stuff. Now, if you wanna make a 3D model of your house, say a real estate agent wants to make a 3D model of a house and show it off, super simple with Recap and, and the Iris Plus. Nice, uh, it's kind of that's like a very we were, good. What we were talking about earlier with the whole democratization of 3D. Exactly. exactly. You, can, you can get one of these devices. Okay, everybody wants to know, how much is this gonna cost us? All right, so <laughs> the helicopter itself is 750, around 750, um, and the gimbal's around 250. Okay. So if you have a GoPro already, you can uh, slap your GoPro on there, and you're in the air for about a thousand dollars. How includes... much extra? How much extra for the uh, controller over there? <laughs> so that ex that that thousand dollar would include the controller, really, and oh. the telemetry module. This is how we communicate with the Android device. Oh wow! And how much range does it have? The um, it's about half a mile. Situationally dependent. That's um, a lot. Sure. Yeah, if it you, is. If you're in a good area, I can't that even have see a it a half a mile away. Oh yeah, it would be well out of your sight. It'd be a very small dot in the air. Wow. But you also have a monitor on that. How much is that? Yeah, so this monitor is around $200. Can we turn it around? Yeah. The camera so we can actually around. see. You're looking at the camera. What the GoPro is seeing right here. Uh. Wow. Oh, wow, that's so cool. So it's a little add-on kit that you can. Hang on, um, I just thought I like, of something. I like the little antennas. They look like a little robot. <laughs> it does, kind of. I just thought of something. <laughs> have you seen uh, they're selling those handheld gimbal things uh, for like, what's it called? Huh? Movie, like movies. Yeah. They cost like ten or fifteen thousand yeah. dollars. Why wouldn't I just buy one of these and walk around like I'll film Callie Lewis oh, here with it? You know, be like, oh, there's Callie Lewis, and you know, I can like shake it and stuff, but it doesn't yeah. matter because this is like a movie, right? Yeah, kind of. Anyway, um, so that's actually where Movie is a brushless gimbal, just uh -huh. like this gimbal here. And brushless gimbals actually uh, started on RC helicopters. Because nice. okay. it's a platform, especially on multi-rotors, that it pitches and rolls to control itself. It doesn't have a control service like a classical helicopter. Right. Um, and so if your camera is hard mounted on there, your footage also pitches and rolls and does all this weird yeah. stuff. And so brushless gimbals give us the ability to very, very finely hold that camera in place to okay. stabilize it. So bringing that back to the pre-monetary question and talking about democratizing mm -hmm. the 3D here, for about a grand, somebody like a realtor, like yeah. you were saying, yeah, they absolutely. could, they need a little practice, yeah. but if they had a little bit of practice, they could get one of these things, get the app, yep. draw a picture around a client's house, exactly. fly it around, have it pointing at the house, yep. taking photos, build a 3D model, and put it like on their website yeah. for marketing exactly, purposes. Exactly, yeah. In fact, some college student 
could go buy one of these for a thousand dollars and then go sell the service to realtors for like five hundred bucks a house That's true. and make a killing. That's true. <laughs> what are some other use cases that you've seen? Uh, really interesting ways of, uh, of using cinematography the is obviously uh, yeah. one of the big things, making beautiful images. But basically, the you're only limited by what you want to put on the helicopter and what it can carry. And so if you if you want to put some sort of sensor anywhere three dimensionally. That's, that's what this provides the okay. ability to do. Um, this specifically with a GoPro on here, along with 3D modeling, we can do uh, large scale surveying, oh. something where, where normally you would have a half a million dollar helicopter, a manned helicopter that would have to be taking pictures of power lines or things like that. Um, you could do it right here and you could do it all autonomously. Yeah. Very easy, much cheaper if uh, something was to happen um, this falls out of the air and it's a thousand dollars and not half a million. Not the world, yeah. It's not a very bad day. Um, so they're, it's one of the fun things we get to do is we get to see what people are doing with these every day. Right. Or we offer up this platform and say, what, what can you guys do with this? There's right. one other thing that that just reminded me of, which was you have the tablet out here, but you don't have your laptop here, but you guys have applications for both the tablet and the laptop that are free that communicate with this thing. Yes, absolutely. And you were doing some kind of programming with your laptop connected to this. Like you plugged a little dongle into your laptop and then you were doing something. Where was I? I don't know. Not you on the working. roof. You were working. <laughs> no, I, was, we were I was working fun. while you guys were playing <laughs> yeah. on the roof. <laughs> so basically, uh, our autopilot is an open source project. Uh, so the, all the software is open. Basically, you have the ability to tune and change everything all the way down to the, the smallest of details. Um, or if you don't want to touch it, the Iris Plus comes right out of the box ready for you. I, I, I think it's the greatest thing ever. Yeah. All Wait. I, oh, go ahead. All I want to do, I don't even want to have a control set. The, f frankly, the only, th I know that you could, some people want to fly one because it's fun to like treat as a remote control vehicle and yeah. just have fun flying it, which yeah. is cool. Yeah. And that's exactly. great. I can appreciate that. That's not what I want. I want. You want a tool. I want a tool. I want to be able to pull out a tablet, go, oh, that's what I want video of. Circle it, maybe make one pass here, get at this height and hit go. Send it off, do its job, come back, pack it up, and move on. That's exactly. all I want. Yeah. And you know what I want? What? I want to be able to uh, take selfies to the next level. Janie mm -hmm. just reminded me of this. And you coined a term called droney. The droney. What is yes. a droney? So it's a selfie from the air. It's a selfie from the drone. How does that work? You just like hit so the So you don't need your arm out there or any, any pole or anything yeah. like that? Uh, it was, how would I do that? Would I fly it or would I do, that do the automated? from the tablet, actually. So... So you can. It actually has. It says it droney. It says oh, it has droney. A there's, a, mode. <laughs> there's a button. It says droney. Oh, that's right awesome. there. You can arm it and take a drone. Yeah. So you arm it and then it'll pop up a little button that says take off. You hit take off. It'll come up. Oh, and, you hit that drone. and then you're like pose up. Or or like that. Yeah. No. Don't ever do that again. Okay, guys, that's probably all of Scott's time that we should take uh, doing this, but I know you want some, so if they want to order them, can, can, can they buy them right now? Absolutely. Where do they get them? 3dr.com. 3dr.com. Awesome. And you guys will be able to actually uh, see more uh, video and uh, and all sorts of different things that we've flown around we've got the by video keeping up to date. Too. Awesome. Keep up to date on geekbeat.tv slash 3dpalooza for all the videos that we're going to push out over the next few weeks. Yeah. Yes, and if you think these are awesome, give it a thumbs up on YouTube. Or two if you got them. Bye, guys. Bye. A little bit for us. No. Oh, so we'll see. Wait, you, point cloud. What exactly yeah. does point cloud mean? As and you, you scan the decals everything. inside and out. Now, that surprised me, actually, because I thought yeah, you Yeah, exactly. It gives you those really great, beautiful Michael Bay cinematic shots.